first I'd like to say I applaud the Attorney General for having this summit and you have my office and my support support as we've spoken before. I think it's a very critical issue that we're facing and uh, whatever we can do, we want to be part of it and help in any way we can. The Department of Health and Human Services, Public Safety, uh, all of the agencies in state government are very concerned about this very severe problem that we're facing in our state. Opiate drugs, use and abuse has been rising in main schools, in our homes and in our community. In fact, I believe we have per capita the worst problem in the country. And we just really need to get a hold of this. It is fueling the increase in theft, burglaries, robberies. And just a minute ago, I heard of a, a murder in, in Rhode Island of several people. While the illicit drugs receive much attention, the non medical use of prescription drugs is a significant and growing threat to our community is going to affect more and more the safety of neighbors. According to the main office of substance abuse in 2005, you know, prescription drug abuse is costing every neighbor $682 a year that they never see. Prescription drug Abuse is a problem for all main, all main families, and particularly for those who are afflicted, uh, afflicted with addiction. 24% of high school kids, high school kids, and 11% of 8th graders have prescription drug problems. And we in the state are concerned at, over our educational system of K-12 is how do we get the kids more engaged? How do we eliminate remedial work before they go on to college? Uh, how do we get control of this dropout rate, uh, dropout rate of 21%? And I'm sure, now I may not have all the statistics, but drugs, prescription drugs, are playing a part in that whole dynamic. We have a drug take back program. We need to get these drugs out of the hands of the wrong people. Those who have addictions, we need to treat them. The drugs need to be taken off the street. It is a very highly successful program, but I firmly believe it's only one aspect of the problem. <coughs> we have to get our medical profession involved. I know I recently met with pharmacists, and they're very concerned about this problem. I'm sure the doctors are concerned about it, but we need to convince them that we need to limit the amount of drugs that they're prescribing. Just a case in point, is last week, two weeks ago, my son had a day surgery, and he came home with 10 oxycodones. He took one and it made him feel really weird, so he decided to take Tylenol instead the next time, so now he's got nine oxycodones. And this is what, what I mean about doctors, Maybe they're concerned about the patients and the pain the patients are going through, but we need to be very cautious how we dis distribute these drugs into, into the uh, society. Believe me, my family is not exempt from this. I have many brothers, as, as you well know, and drugs have been uh, a problem for many, many 
many years with someone. You, it used to be illicit drugs, but now they've figured out how to get prescriptions. <clears throat> and so they need one treatment, two, they need those, the, the drugs have to come off the streets. Number three is they need to be challenged for their behaviors. And so, with everyone that's gathered here today from different parts of our society, we need you all to participate. And I want to tell the Attorney General that we will be first in line, whatever he needs, to convene groups, to work on this issue. I will be there, and whatever I need to do to help you, is you let me know, and we will move this dialogue and this debate forward. We need to get control of the prescription drugs before we can solve the illicit drugs. Because this is a, this whole issue of you can get a prescription anywhere. Kids are telling me at the university that it is easier to get prescription drugs than to get off the couch and go down to the local store and buy a six pack of beer. It's a real problem with that. So, my understanding is the next drug take back initiative is Saturday the 29th of this month, 10 to 2 p.m. There are multiple locations. If anyone wants to know more information, call the governor's office, I'm sure the attorney general's office, and we'll get you that information. Thank you. 